Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about Harmon Smith's talk about Pokemon Gen 9 outselling Elden Ring. Much like Quantum TV, Elden Ring seems to live rent-free in his head, and considering that Elden Ring has won, as I understand it, over 320 awards, it probably stores about 160 of those awards in Harmon's head, and the other 160 in Quantum TV's head. Anyway, I've rambled long enough, so without further ado, let's get into it. So, Nintendo has released their financial reports today, and I had a good look-see at, like, some of the titles sold. I actually have quite a bit to say about a lot of this. This is really interesting stuff, but the one thing that really stuck out to me, and the one thing I really, really wanted to drive home immediately, is that my prediction 100% came true. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet quite handedly outsold... Elden Ring. Uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet sold like 20 million units. Like Elden Ring has only sold 18 million after like a an eight month head start. Uh, Scarlet and Violet didn't come out until November. So in short, uh, Pokemon like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet like you know was a better selling game. It sold faster. It was a, you know a much bigger release than Elden Ring. And there are reasons for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet selling better than Elden Ring, Harmon. For the first time in Pokemon's history since Gen 1, Game Freak actually tried to mix up the Pokemon formula by making it actually open world, and Pokemon is also a much more established brand name. Elden Ring is a brand new IP for From Software, and the fact that Elden Ring managed to sell as much as it did is incredible. Why is it that you act like non-Nintendo games selling well is bad? Does it take attention away from Poe Widow Nintendo Harmon? And the reason I, I bring this up, the reason I was so angry at Elden Ring, and one of the reasons I like uh, made a name for myself, like kind of condemning what Elden Ring fans were saying about this release, like there was a really big push you know, among the community to present Elden Ring as the best-selling new IP of all time, the best-selling game of the year, you know, even though it came out in March. And uh, I think, what was the third one? Uh, best-selling game... Like, you know, one of the best-selling games ever made, right? Like, there was a very big coordinated, like, agenda from, like, you know, these big, these big, like, Elden Ring fanboy channels to, like, paint this as, like, one of the biz biggest success stories in gaming. The game that, like, made Nintendo tremble and delay, like, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Like, this was supposed to be the biggest release ever. Okay, first of all, we gotta talk about his not knowing about the names, or more accurately, the subtitles of Nintendo games, as that is just plain embarrassing for a Nintendo fanboy. He thought that The Elder Scrolls 6 was going to be called Skyrim 2, as most people who have never once touched an Elder Scrolls game in their lifetime seem to. He also doesn't seem to know that the sequel to Breath of the Wild is going to be called Tears of the Kingdom. So Harmon, why on God's green earth are you still calling Tears of the Kingdom Breath of the Wild 2? We know the subtitle of Breath of the Wild sequel now, Harmon. There's no reason to call it Breath of the Wild 2 anymore. Also, Harmon says he's angry with Elden Ring because of the push from Elden Ring fanboys that it would be one of the biggest success stories in gaming. So, Harmon, have you got any proof of that? Because I looked online and I didn't see a single article written by anyone saying anything that you've said that they've said. Either that, or I just didn't look hard enough, and believe me, I have been looking. And, you know, flash in the pan success, you know? Like, you know, Sword and Shield sold 25 million units, Scarlet and Violet sold 20, like, you know, Legends Arceus sold like 15. You see what I mean about him not knowing the subtitles of video games? It's Arceus, Harmon, not Arceus. Arceus. You know, like... I think like uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, the remakes. Like I think I think that outsold Elden Ring too. I'll have to check it. I'll have to look at that. Like the the reality is like there are so many like bigger Nintendo franchises than like than Souls. Honestly, like Elden Ring only did as well as it did because of like uh, the open world thing, the hype from fanboys, and like maybe the involvement of George R. R. Martin. Like that's it. Like you know most people I think kind of tuned out of like Elden Ring pretty quickly after it came out it's it's not all that good of a game you know i have no interest in checking it out like i i have like you know no expectations for it like that'll be that it will be particularly well remembered uh, you know it's funny and infuriating that Harmon says that elden ring only sold as well as it did due to the open world thing and the push from fanboys because we can apply those exact same reasons to pokemon scarlet and violet doing as well as they did 
What makes this really funny is how Elden Ring, as far as I'm aware, had no bugs and glitches in it when it was released, whereas Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were in as bad a shape as Cyberpunk 2077 when it first released. Only we laughed at Cyberpunk 2077, whereas we laughed with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Also, just like Quantum TV, Harmon here seems to have something of an ego. Oh, Elden Ring isn't that good of a game. I have no interest in checking it out. Like, what the heck, Harmon? Look, to anyone who comes here, something I should make perfectly clear is that if you don't like Elden Ring, Dark Souls, any Soulsborne game, that's fine with me. I will respect your opinion. But please don't be like Quantum TV or Harmon Smith here. They played about four hours tops, got their butts handed to them, so they quit and said the game sucks. Quantum says we're like abuse victims, that we've been beaten down into liking the game. At least Harmon flat out says he doesn't like it, but he also says that it isn't a good game, which is very funny, because I seem to recall Elden Ring winning Game of the Year. Pokemon did not. Elden Ring was a flash in the pan. Harmon, the Soulsborne games that From Software have been churning out are all doing quite well as I understand it. After all, if they weren't, then why are they getting remade? Or at least remastered, sorry. Remade and remaster are interchangeable with me. You know, we're in 2023 now, and like, you know, once it got its Game of the Year award, like, you know, it stopped being talked about. You know, like, it is this year's It Takes Two. You know, the game just cannot cannot compete with with you know superior franchises like pokemon you know at 20 million units sold like super mario odyssey at 25 million units sold you know like animal crossing new horizons at 40 million units sold you know mario Kart 8 deluxe at 50 million units sold you know like these games are going to like keep selling for years while whilst elden ring is kind of like relegated to like you know only selling when it hits like you know 10 bucks on Steam or whatever, which, you know, the company will then use to, like, inflate their sales numbers. Like... Superior franchises? Harmon, all the franchises you listed are Nintendo franchises, shock of all shocks, but they are, again, more well-established and have been around for longer than Elden Ring. Another thing to consider is that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was originally released on the Wii U as Mario Kart 8, one of Nintendo's worst-selling consoles, and in my personal opinion, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the best Mario Kart game by far. Also, Pokemon is absolutely not a superior franchise to Elden Ring, okay? That is not an opinion. What that is, is a statement of fact. No one buys Pokemon for any reason anymore except to see what new monsters they can catch in this very stale game series that should have honestly either been sold off to another company or died out entirely, if you ask me. The only reason Pokemon is still selling is because it's literally Pokemon. It's guaranteed to sell. In fact, I would argue that, with the exception of The Legend of Zelda and Animal Crossing franchises, None of Nintendo's other franchises can even reach Elden Ring, and I want to stress this, but this is coming from me, a huge Nintendo fan. But the difference between Harmon and myself is that I am a healthy Nintendo fan, and I don't just mean physically, I mean mentally as well. Harmon just worships the ground Nintendo walks on like there's no tomorrow, as if Nintendo was the second coming of Christ. I actually call Nintendo out for their wrongdoings or what I consider to be bad. Does Harmon? No, he doesn't. Like, again, it's... It's, uh... It's interesting to... It's interesting to see this. Because, like, you know, I knew it would happen. I told people it would happen. And, uh, you know, no one would, would... No one believed me. I was laughed at. There were so many, like, salty Elden Ring fanboys, like, making making these weird commentary videos about how I didn't appreciate Elden Ring and how I was a casual... And how, how I was, like, just a, just a Nintendo fanboy. Well, guess what? Like, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet didn't even make my top ten best games of last year. No, Harmon. We make fun of you and laugh at you because of your really poopy takes. Also, I never claimed you were a filthy casual who didn't appreciate Elden Ring, you filthy casual who doesn't appreciate Elden Ring. Also, since when does your top 10 mean actual factual truth? 
I still loved it. It was still great. But, like, 2022 was so loaded with great Nintendo Switch releases. I did not put, like, Legends Arceus. Uh, I mean, uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on the list. Legends Arceus was actually my number one pick. Uh, my game of the year. And, you know, at Legends Arceus... I swear to fuzzing God, folks, how hard is it to remember a video game subtitle, especially for a fanboy like Harmon? Seriously, the name is Arceus Harmon. If he says that too many more times in the video, then I am going to blow my head, I swear to God. And not the good head that needs to get blown, I mean the bad head. The head that is required for living. Maybe both. Way better game than Elden Ring. You know, it'll be way more fondly remembered. People will look back on it as, like, I think, the best Pokemon game in recent years. Like, you know, a true step forward to the franchise. You know, like, uh, uh, Scarlet and Violet was, was good as well, but Legends are sort of I think, really has the the potential to really like be the Pokemon game for older fans. You know, even now I kind of find myself going back to it and like just marveling at just how good that that game actually was, uh, actually is actually. Um, it's a phenomenal experience, like one of the best RPG experiences I've had in a long time. And meanwhile, like people are still trying to convince me that like Elden Ring was ever good. You know. <sighs> Dark Souls 3 wasn't good, Dark Souls 2 wasn't good, Dark Souls 1 wasn't good. Like, I I've played so many Souls games at this point, like, I, I have no real interest. Uh, Sekiro wasn't good. I, I've played so many of these, like, Souls-like games at this point that I have no real interest in, like, ever checking out Elden Ring. There's really nothing you can do to convince me to check out Elden Ring at this point. Well, that's fine, Harmon. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you don't like Soulsborne games, that's fine. I will respect your opinion because they aren't for everybody. And I do agree with Harmon on Pokemon Legends. Arceus is the best Pokemon game in a long while. This is what we need to see in the Pokemon games, which makes it all the more baffling that Nintendo chose to release Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in the same year that they released Pokemon Legends Arceus. But Harmon, I'll tell you this much. The Soulsborne games have a lot more going on for them than the Pokemon games ever will at this point. And after Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I'm really not all that interested in whatever comes next for Pokemon. Like, it's a forgotten game. It is this year's Dragon Quest Inquisition. Uh, you know, it won a bunch of awards. People tried hyping it up, but at the end of the day, it will be forgotten. Harmon, apart from Pokemon Legends Arceus, when was the last time Pokemon did anything to even remotely make itself stand out? Also, starting with Gen 8, because let's not forget about Dexit, where they literally tore the Pokedex clean in half, only God knows why, and it was so linear it wasn't even funny. Was it fun? Yes. But it's the same old nostalgic bullcrap that we have seen in the Pokemon games since the 90s. Pokemon needs to start changing up the formula more than it has, because if it doesn't, then it will eventually die out. And with that, we are through with this video. Now it's on to the next video, just as soon as I can get some footage for it. Bye-bye for now!